Hello and welcome to my channel where we are making a gourmet tasting breakfast using a box mix. And today's breakfast item is a delicious rum raisin bread pudding, so stick around while we make something boxed but better. This recipe is fast and easy to assemble and it starts with 7 slices of day old brioche bread. You want your bread to be good and stale for this recipe. In order to achieve that, you can leave it out all night long, or I toasted mine in the oven for 5 minutes because I didn't have time to wait. Slice your bread into medium to large size cubes. I like to cut 4 vertical rows and 3 horizontal rows to achieve 12 cubes per slice of bread. Then set this to the side while we work on the pudding part of our bread pudding. We will need one large box of stovetop vanilla pudding mix and we are going to scoop out one and a half tablespoons of the pudding mix and save it to the side for later. In a large bowl, we are going to add four tablespoons of melted butter, three large eggs that are room temperature, your box of stovetop pudding mix minus the one and a half tablespoons that we're saving, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Then mix this together for about 30 seconds until your ingredients are well incorporated. Next, we are going to add a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk and one teaspoon of rum extract. Then mix your ingredients together on high speed again for about another 30 seconds. Now we are going to add our brioche bread and a half cup of raisins. Gently stir your bread into the pudding mixture using a folding motion so as not to crush your bread. You want to do this until all of your bread looks very well coated in the pudding mixture. Then leave it to set for about one minute to further soak up your pudding mixture. Grease your pan lightly with butter as you wait the one minute for your bread to soak. To fill our pan more evenly, we are going to start by scooping out the bread chunks first. It doesn't have to be perfect, we are just trying to get more bread than pudding mixture at this point, and then we will continue to add the rest on top once we spread out the bread chunks. Do this gently with your spatula so you don't accidentally crush your bread, and when you're happy with the way it looks, pour the pudding mixture evenly over the top. You'll also notice there's still plenty of raisins in the bottom of the bowl. This is the perfect time to use them to fill in any gaps that you see that may need more raisins. Now we're going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 to 45 minutes. It has been 45 minutes and our bread pudding is a beautiful golden brown. And now it is time to make our quick and easy vanilla rum sauce. In a small saucepan, we are going to add a 5 ounce can of evaporated milk, a half teaspoon of rum extract, or one teaspoon if you would like a stronger rum flavor, and the one and a half tablespoons of pudding mix we had set to the side. And we are going to cook this on a medium high heat until you reach a low simmer and your sauce becomes thickened on your spatula. Once we have achieved a thickened consistency, we are going to remove it from the heat and pour it immediately on top of our bread pudding. Pour your vanilla rum sauce evenly over the top of your bread pudding. This is why it's important to bake your bread until it reaches a nice golden color, because it's toast enough where it will soak up the sauce but not become soggy. Use a spoon or a basting brush to cover the pieces of bread that did not get covered in sauce yet. This is a breakfast that is best served warm, and be sure to refrigerate any leftovers since it does have dairy in it. I did not cut into this one because I gave it to a friend, but here is a picture of the bread pudding recipe I did when I was creating it. It's the same recipe, I just plated it fancy for my thumbnail. And there we have it, our delicious rum raisin bread pudding. Thank you for joining me, I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them and I will see you next time on Boxed But Better with Jenna. Alright, now time for the bread. Ah! Cat! Let go of the cord. Oh, you little demon, get off.